A fond memory of my own time in school is uh, from probably my uh, best teacher who passed away just a few years ago. Her name is Mary Hindle. And she taught me when I was 10 to 11 years old at the top end of uh, primary school. And I'd like to say two things about Mary Hindle. Mary Hindle understood, though she didn't have a label for it, that uh, I was very talkative, uh, that I uh, forgot things easily, uh, that I was not always the easiest child to manage within a class, but she understood me and all the other children in 1960 for, for who, who we were as individuals. At a time when every child had to go out at recess for lunch or for break in the morning, uh, she allowed our class to stay in and to write newspapers. So we had two newspapers in the class and I was the editor of the travel section. I'd never traveled anywhere. I traveled only in my head. Uh, but I read lots of travel books and this was a great passion for me and now of course bizarrely I travel everywhere as, as, as part of my work and in a way this was expressed when I was nine or ten years old and I do want to say that a few years ago my old primary school had a new building and uh, they asked me would I lay the foundation stone for the new building with my name on it and so on and I agreed to do it if I could lay the stone with my best teacher. So when you walk into the new school now, it says this uh, foundation stone was laid by former pupil, Professor Andy Hargreaves and his teacher, Mary Hindle. And, and for me, uh, that and the moments long ago when I was a child is a connection between two of the best moments in my life.